to another delicious tasting Trader Joe's dessert. I have some pumpkin empanadas and I have this one here, which is a R Trader Joe's app rustic apple tart. I just got it out of the oven a few minutes ago. Look at it, it looks delicious. Let's cut into this. Now, there you go. That is it. That looks delicious. We all know what a tart is. And this is apple. Oh. Mmm, that is good. That is delicious. Man, that is tasty. What would go best with this is some vanilla ice cream or maybe even a little caramel drizzle on it. Ooh, man. I wish I had some caramel drizzle. That is a must get at Trader Joe's. That is delicious. I like it. I definitely would buy that again. I got another item to try that's in the oven, and I think it's almost done. It, there it is. It's done. And for our next item is the pumpkin empanadas. They're delectically spiced pumpkin filling in a traditional flaky pastry. And that's it right there. They look good. They smell good. It's got a very strong, I want to say, I want to think that that's nutmeg or cloves that's coming through. It's a very strong flavor. Now they're not horrible and they're not the best. The crust is flaky, it's a little crunchy and it has the typical texture that you'd want of an empanada, at least a dessert empanada. And I brought along some maple butter just in case if I was gonna have this reaction because I wanna see if I can make this even better. We're just gonna take a little bit of that maple butter and just kind of pour it. Which, well, that's a lot more than I want it. Mm. That is much better with the maple butter. Now, oh, now I got some cinnamon bun spread and these are all Trader Joe's products. So let's give these a try. So I still have some maple butter right there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that cinnamon spread right there. Now these are pretty, these are okay by themselves. This is not something if I just ate them by themselves and didn't add anything to it, I wouldn't buy these again. It has a very strong nutmeg clove taste to it. That's coming through, that's overpowering the flavor of the pumpkin. Maybe a little, if Trader Joe's can go back and revamp these and probably put less of those two ingredients and allow the pumpkin flavor to shine more, these would be a lot better. But adding some of the maple butter and the cinnamon bun spread helps make it more tastier. I have one more item to try that is I did not mention at the beginning because I forgot that I had it in the freezer. Things you find as you clean out your freezer is the pumpkin spice samosas. They're mini. They look good, they look delicious. They smell good. Look at that, that looks delicious. Oh yeah. Just tiny little triangles there all wrapped up in a little flaky like crust. Matter of fact, what are they wrapped in? Flaky pastry. As of right now, I'm thinking of no. That second bite, there's a little, there, there's a hint of heat in it. So there's definitely a little bit spice. Better the second bite than the first bite. Let's try, let's finish this off. These are not bad at all. They're a lot better than I expected. Overall, for the, for the two that I like the most, thumbs up and uh, go to your local Trader Joe's, get some, give it a try for yourself. You might like it. I, well, I think you'll like it. But if, especially if you love the pumpkin time of the year, so, hey, it's over. The show is the show is over. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the bell button for updates. Like, comment, share, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye.